In this NUASH tutorial, we're going to talk about the automation suspend modes. Uh, there are suspend modes for both automation write and automation read. Uh, as you can see here in the automation panel, which by the way is duplicated on the touch screen of the NUASH master unit, but uh, due to the space restrictions on the screen here, I'm just putting the automation panel up on the uh, project window display so that you can see the fader and uh, the rest of the automation system down here. So uh, right now I have all of these different um, uh, parts of the automation system suspended from writing. And uh, I, I usually do that to prevent inadvertent writing of automation to other parts of the channel. Because there are hundreds of parameters in a channel that can be automated and it can get quite confusing quite fast if you just start grabbing parameters in any part of the channel and start automating a bunch of things. It's, it's handy to be able to uh, suspend the writing of automation to certain groups of parameters. So to begin with, um, I have some automation data here. So, uh, and if I were to run the project, grab the fader, uh, make some moves, of course, I can write those um, write that automation data in. If, however, suspend write volume is turned on, meaning the, the indicator is red, then if I run the, the project and I move the fader, I can't write any um, volume automation. Now, if I were to write some panning automation, that could quite possibly happen here, like that. Then again, if pan is suspended from having automation written to it, and I adjust the pan parameter, nothing's going to happen. So that's how suspend write works. Now, suspend read can also um, help you at times. Um, if there's a lot of automation going on in a project and you need to just isolate a channel to gain control over it temporarily to, you know, for whatever reason, um, but you don't want to lose that automation data then you can suspend the reading of that automation data um, here on the automation panel. Uh, for example, we have this automation data. Uh, I'm going to write some more of it here. Hold on a second here. Write some more volume automation data, just so we have something to play with. Um, OK, now I want to be able to control the volume of this channel, but I also want to keep the volume automation data intact. So what I can do is suspend the reading of volume automation data. So now, as you can see, there's a flat line in place of where the automation curve was before. It's where we're superseded over top of it. That indicates the volume of the fader right now. The underlying curve is the existing automation data that has been suspended. If you'll notice, um, the write enable button is still on, and the read enable button is uh, grayed out. So that means that that track um, is not playing back automation. Um, however, the pan automation here, uh, if there were any, would be playing back. That's what the green read automation indicator means. With these different categories of automation data, you can isolate certain sections of the mixer in both read and write. For me, most of the time, I automate the sends, pans, and volume. And very rarely do I get into automating other aspects of the mixer. Although it does happen, just, you know, 90% of the time, um, it's usually volume, pan, and sends, perhaps. Uh, it depends on the style of working method that you have. That's just for me. But it's very handy to be able to disable write for those sections of the mixer so I don't end up with a huge amount of automation data unnecessarily. So um, that's how the suspension of automation read and write parameters works in Nuendo and Nuage. Um, we'll be back with more automation tutorials.